Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about editing linked Excel data. Right, you got an Excel spreadsheet, you can link to it, but you can't edit any of the records in it. Well, in this video, we'll show you how. Today's question comes from Keith in Germantown, Wisconsin, one of my Platinum members, but this is one of those questions that I get every so often. And uh, the more times I get a question, the, the further up the list I have to bump it. So someone else just asked me this morning, uh, sent me an email saying that this is possible. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've been meaning to do a video about it. So here we go. Keith says, in my office, everyone uses Excel for data entry and managing spreadsheets. I handle most of the reporting and financial statements, and I frequently import their data into my Access database. I noticed that linking an Excel spreadsheet as a table in Access makes it non-editable. Is there a way to avoid constantly importing data while still being able to edit the linked spreadsheets. Yes, Keith, it's possible with a trick. The default method of linking to an Excel spreadsheet, it even tells you in the instructions, hey, you can't edit this stuff. But as a couple of people have discovered online, there's a little trick you can do to be able to edit it. You can edit records and you can add records to the spreadsheet, but you still can't delete records. So let me show you how to do it. First off, a couple prerequisites. This is an expert level video, so it's a little bit beyond the basics, but it's not quite developer. We don't need any programming for this. I recommend if you don't know how to import data from Excel, go watch this. And in this video, I teach you how to link to an Excel spreadsheet, read only. And if you don't know the difference between importing and linking, definitely go watch these two videos. These are both free. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch them and come on back. All right, so I've got a spreadsheet here with student grades in it. Real simple sheet, right? Student, test one, two, quiz one, two, three. I think I use this for another video, in fact. But what we want to be able to do is link to this from our Access database and still be able to manipulate this data or even add records, okay? All right, so here I am in the Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab up my website if you want to. And we're going to link to that sheet. So external data, new data source, from file, Excel. We're going to link, I'm going to browse, go to my spreadsheets folder, find student grades. There it is, I like the little preview they added over here and then hit open and then hit okay. You'll get this little preview here. First row contains column headings as it should. That looks about right. Hit next, give the linked table a name. I'll call it grade T for grade table. And it says finish linking. Okay, all right, we're in here. There it is right there. If we double click on it, open it up, you can see the data. Notice there's no extra row on the bottom. And if you click up here, you can't make any changes. Okay, how do we get it so this thing is editable? It's a simple fix, but it only works in later versions of Access. I think 2021 and later. So if you got 365 and you're up to date, it'll work. What you do is right click on the table. You're gonna go into the linked table manager. You're gonna open this guy up here and find your sheet, right? click on the box, and then click edit. This thing comes up. All right, this is the connection string to that spreadsheet. All you gotta do is this value here, IMAX, not IMAX, we're not going to the movies, it's IMAX, import, export. We're gonna change that to, right there, to a zero. That's it, that's all I gotta do. Hit save, hit close, and now when you open up your table, oh, look at that, I got a I got an add new row on the bottom there, and I can come in here and make changes. All right, 65, 100, and so on. I can add someone new down here. All right, Picard, 99, whatever. Okay. Still can't delete, though. So once you're done editing, if you try to hit delete, it says deleting data in a link table is not supported by this ISAM. That's indexed sequential access method. Yeah, I had to look it up myself. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, basically you can't do it. So you can add records, you can edit existing records, but you can't delete records. Okay, and if I close this, and also be careful if you got multiple people trying to edit the spreadsheet at the same time, that can cause problems. But if you just wanna get in there once in a while and make a few changes, right, do stuff from access, that's great. And notice if I go back to the original sheet, there's my additions right there, you can see it. It's not perfect with the formatting, folks. So your data will go in there, but obviously the formatting, well, that, you know, you get what you get. <laughs> but at least it works. 
If you want to learn more, Isle of Dogs on Access has a great article on this with a lot more information. Uh, you can also go in and edit the connection string directly in a query. He's got a lot more data on here, exactly what all these things entail. He's got a little video. Go watch it. Give him some likes and some subscribes and all that good stuff. I'll put a link to this page down below. If you want to learn more cool stuff with modifying Excel sheets from Access, I've got a video on Excel automation. We can actually construct an Excel sheet from Access VBA. This one's pretty cool. And I cover a lot more about importing, linking, and all that stuff between Access and Excel in my Access Expert Level 20 course. But there you go. That's going to do it for today. That's your tech help video. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your Access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing free four hours go watch it and okay okay a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course so I do now have a quicker Microsoft access for beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes and no I didn't just put the video on fast forward <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well now if you like level one level two is just a dollar that's it one dollar and that's another whole like 90 minute course Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum. 
We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.